Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this rather lovely 7x7 seven seven card. Now it does say, the words are honey, don't let life dull your sparkle and as you can see, I'm hoping you can see there's lots of busy bees around some honeycomb. Rather a lot of fun this. There's a bit of foiling and a whole load of dinkling with a little bit of mica. It's fab. Anyway, enough chat from me. Let, come with me and let me show you how it's done. Righty ho, background dinkleage. So I've got a 7x7 seven seven multifarious card, a blender, and a needle tip bottle which I filled with some yellow dinkles and I've added a little bit of metallic bronze mica minerals and I'm just swirling that on to my card using a blender. Now what colour is this? This is the sepia, I'm just going round the edges and this will be slowly built up into a darker and darker colour but we're just starting with a base at the moment. Keep adding your sepia and we're doing layers basically, layer upon layer. I much prefer using a needle tip bottle because it gives you a sort of a, a fluid sort of feeling to how the liquid moves on its own and the colour go well you can put the colour where you want it to go but then you have the opportunity to let it go for a journey by itself so that was the amber I literally did a few stripes across the top with it and then tilted the paper up and let it just drip down giving it a bit of a dry adding some more do you remember what I said about layers this is what I mean letting it dry building up a layer and then turning it round again, sepia going the other way. I love the crisscrossing of the drips. So back in with the amber dinkles again and I'm wanting a darker colour in the centre so I've just thrown it round the centre and then I'm heating it up to let it dry and making it move. And at this point you'd be forgiven for thinking what a mess. <laughs> but you just bear with it as long as you've got those drips coming down and that was a bit more yellow there. And the more you layer up, the more it will make sense. There we go. That looks drier, doesn't it? So as I was saying, layering. So I've got my Elements Ink Truffle and I'm going to the outside edges with a stencil brush size 9 and just building up my darker layer from the outside in. So it's a frame if you like, but it's definitely darker in the corners. Right, so I've got a bit of um, dinkles with the yellow on that blender and I was just adding bits here, there and everywhere. So it's stencil time. Grab your honeycomb stencil and some texture paste and your palette knife. And we're just going to run that through in the centre. You know when you buy honey that's still got the honeycomb in it? This is the sort of thing we're going for, that really rich, juicy, lovely feel of a piece of honeycomb oozing with honey. So this is our honeycomb and I'm just adding a little bit of shading if you like underneath the base of my honeycomb. So that's Elements Ink Truffle with a bit of water and I've used one of the paintbrushes from Watercolour brush, Paintbrush Set 1. 
Now going back in, I love this layering bit, with the dinkles, that was yellow first, and now we're doing the amber on top. And can you see it slowly is beginning to look lovely and honey-y. Adding more of that yellow on. And because it's got that metallic bronze, can you see those stripes down the bottom, if you like, where the honey is dripping? They've got a lovely sheen to them. And just let that dry with a little bit of a helping hand from the Ranger Heat Tool. And a super speedy hand, obviously. <laughs> Look at those rich, gorgeous colours. Don't forget, heat the back to stop your paper from bending. Ah, the bees. So, using Verse Fine Claire Nocturne, I've grabbed my mini bee stamp and I'm just going to add a few little mini bees around this honeycomb. Obviously don't overdo it, but do as many as you feel comfortable with. There we go. So I've gone in with my yellow Posca pen and I'm adding some yellow dots on the darker bits in between where we've got our honey oozing down. And so we're lightening up some of that darkness around the edges. Now we're going to texture that frame. So again, grab that honeycomb stencil and this time, and your palette knife, sorry, and this time we're using Sizzix 3D adhesive paste. And I'm not stressing too much about it being perfectly you know, square. Overlay it, but try not to put that bit down over where um, you've already done your pasty bit. I'm so glad you speak my language because I'm making words up sometimes. <laughs> Okay, to keep turning it round, and as I said, once you get to that corner, try not to go onto that again with your Sizzix paste. You've already done it. There's no need to. And there we go for the last bit. You're just really putting some paste in the centre. So this is a very rich and unctuous, lovely jewel-like card. So it seems only right that we should add some gold. So we're drying off or getting the majority of that dry and just once it's tacky adding some golden texture and that's with the wow fab foils and this is the gold so you just lay it down shiny side up run your hand over it they say use a burnishing tool but you know you can use your thumb like me and uh, then you're left with this stunning stunning gold frame and I'm using Stickles Icicle just to add a bit of bling to the bee's wings. And we need to add some text. So I'm going to go in with Verse Fine Claire Summertime. And I've used the stamp Sparkle, Don't Let Life Dull Your Sparkle, and added, while the ink was wet, some of the metallic bronze mica mineral. And I'm just adding it by shifting it around that wet ink. And you can see I've done the phrase a few times and that's just to make sure that I get the best print. And anything I don't use I can always keep for later anyway. So this says don't let life dull your sparkle. And I'm just chopping it up into individual words and sticking it down with some bippity boppity glue. So obviously work out where you want it to go first and it makes sticking it so much easier. Now these words aren't in your face which is what I was trying to avoid. Okay so using your white Posca pen give your little buzzy bees white bottoms 
and with a pig Pigma Micron pen, I've just underlined the words. So at the bottom of the white, yeah? Um, underneath the white, onto, on the actual uh, design itself. And I've added a few little wing flaps with that pen, as in little lines next to where the wings are. Adding depth and colour. So again, I'm going back in with that shading just to add a little bit more of our Elements Ink Truffle with water using a watercolour brush from the watercolour brush set one and making it obvious that this honey is oozing off some honeycomb. So I'm just going back over those lines I did, but this time with a black Posca pen and adding some colour now. So this is my aqua green Posca pen. And again, it's just a little bit of dots, dotage. And adding some elements in truffle along some of the frame, it just lifts it. And look at this glittery yellow Posca pen. It looks scrumptious, doesn't it? But I feel like it's missing something. So using a similar style, I'm just writing the word honey. And I'm going to cut it out and pop it at the top of my card so that the text will now read Honey, don't let life dull your sparkle. I think that's a cracking eye, cracking sentiment for, you know, encouraging people to just keep smiling and be lovely. What have we got now? Finishing touches? You mean there's more? I'm just underlining that word, honey, so it looks like it's meant to be there. And that's with the Pigma Micron Black 0.5. And this is my white Posca pen. Just doing a few more white dots here, there and everywhere if the pen chooses to work. And then we've got some Stickles Gold to add a little bit of bling. A little bit of red Posca pen. Oh, that's lovely. little bit of apple green. See, overall that card looks yellow, doesn't it? But once you look closer, you can see all these other little colours just helping to make the scene zing or pop, whichever you would like to say. So it's my aqua green, my old favourite. Aqua green Posca pen for dots. And that, my friends, look at all of that on there. You have done it. Well done. Well done. Well, I don't know about you, but I rather, I rather love this. It just feels so rich and oozy with the honey. It's fab, fab. And I think it's got a cracking message as well. Don't let life dull your sparkle. We're all busy, busy. But don't let it get you down. Anyway, thank you very much for coming along and having a go with me. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And uh, if you've got any comments you'd like to make about this craft, please pop it in the post below and I will do my best to reply to you as soon as I possibly can. You take care and in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you.